welcome back to my channel. This is my second video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a cut crease because I did put it up my Snapchat and asked everybody what you just wanted to see and everybody, well most people wanted to see a cut crease so I've decided to do it with the Be Perfect palette because one person actually says to me, oh can you use a palette that we might already have because we don't want to see new palettes because people don't want to be out money. So I said, you know what, most people are going to have this palette. If you want to learn how to do this look, then keep on watching. So I just went ahead and I carved underneath my brow with the P. Louise base, just packing that on. This is in the shade two, but I'll link everything down below. So I'm just going to take this mint color as the first color to put on my eye. And I'm just going to take this Aviva 228 brush and I'm just going to start at the outer portion of the eye, just blending it in. So I'm just going to go back and forth picking up my color and I'm just going to swoop it right over into the inner corner because that's where you want the cut crease to start so you need colour over in the inner corner. So yeah! Okay so do not worry if you look like this because it comes together in the end. Next up we're going to take this colour Envy and we're just going to take that same brush just kind of dust off the mint colour and we're again going to start at the outer portion and work our way in. So let's go! So just start right here and do like we small circular motions, is that what I'm trying to say? Um, basically you don't want the brush to be really dug under you. You want it to be nice and soft, like you can barely even feel your brush on your eyeball. So yeah. So I'm just going to take a clean brush now and I'm just up here, I'm just going to buff out the colour just so that it's nice and blended. You don't want to be picking up too much product near your brow because if you put product on, it goes too close towards the brow. So I'm just taking a clean brush and just literally blending. Like there's no tomorrow. Blend, 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 blend. So next up, we're going to take the colour Mood, which is this lovely deep kind of bluey navy colour. And we're just going to take that same brush again, which is Zoeva 228 brush. And we are just going to start at the outer corner once again like so and we're just going to deepen up our colors and merge them together it's kind of giving us really like nice i don't know it's a nice vibe so yeah so i'm just taking the color envy which is the green color and a clean brush and i'm just kind of going over the navy blue um because you just want to get everything nice and blended out so you just have to keep going back and forth back and forth with your product until you're completely happy that your blend is on My eyelid space is kind of small, so I just go like above my natural eyelid space. Is that right? Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's going to be really hard to talk to you when I'm doing this, but I anyway, I map this out like so. Really lightly drawn on the line first. And to get a really sharp line, I'm going to use my cellar water and a cotton bud. So what you do is you just want to get the excess eyeshadow off underneath your carved out line. So you just start taking off the shadow that you don't need. Because if you go ahead and like you've crazy eyeshadow on like this and you carve out your lovely cut crease, and you start packing on product, 
it's our Simex for the product and you just get like color and we don't want any of that. So this is how I do it. And you just want to go as close to that line or on it even as you can. So just completely take off all the eyeshadow. Once you have that all cleaned up, you're going to take your P. Louise base and you're just going to apply it right on the lid. Being really, really careful that you don't go above your, your guideline. A guideline, that's what we'll call it. Okay, so I'm going back in with the color Mood and I'm just going to start deepening the outer corner. Just literally pressing the the wet. Pressing the product on. So yeah, this is what we have so far. And now I'm just going to take the color Mini, which is a lovely kind of like goldy, shimmery color, and I'm just going to place that right where the cock crease is, just to give it that bit of um, bit of what? What am I trying to say? bit of shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. And you want to like, you can pack it on fast down here, but right up here, you want to take your time getting it nice and close to the line, but not over the line. So yeah, I'm just um, picking up some more mood and I'm just merging the colors Mood and Mini together. So just go back and forth. So I'm taking the Zoeva 228 brush and the wee flat brush from Zoeva, which is the 231 brush. So um, I'm just picking up the color Mini with this and I'm just going back and forth blending Mood and Mini together. Okay, so now I'm going to put on this little pigment, which is Mermaid's. From Peaches and Creams. Now, if you haven't heard of Peaches and Creams pigments, then you should definitely check them out because if you love pigments and glitters and stuff like that as much as I do, they have such a variety and pigments I mean to suit everybody. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna apply this with a wee flat brush and I'm gonna just do it off camera maybe. Oh, do you know what? We'll do it on camera. Let's do it. Let's let's just go for it. Will we? Okay, so this is like a kind of like bluey, kind of kind of like a whitish bluey. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, I'm just going to put that over here, over here. What? It's so hard to keep talking on YouTube. Like I'm going to have to cut this a million, zillion, zillion, zillion times. But anyway, I'm just going to pack that on the lid. Oh my God. Can you see this? Oh my God. <laughs> like I just get so exciting. It just, I mean, it just adds that little bit of a bam. Okay, so off camera, I did my brows, my liner, and my lashes, which are Tatty TL4 lashes. Um, and I just basically didn't want to bore you with my brow routine again. Um, so I'm going to now with the Optical Illusion Primer. I did say in my last video that this is my favorite, and I'll stand by that. And I'm just going to moisturize that under the skin, basically trying to cover all them damn pores that I have. <laughs> so yeah. Um, today for the foundation, I'm going to be just using um, Urban Decay Naked Skin and Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm just going to mix the two. So I'm using this one, uh, the All Nighter in the shade 5. And the Naked Skin in shade 6. And I'm going to use 4 pumps for this. And 4 pumps for that. Just bam, bam, bam. Bam. So once you've mixed it together... I'm just going to use a brush this time and I'm just going to start applying. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, that's lighter than your hand, but this for some reason goes darker when it's on. So just be wary of that. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Once I've applied the foundation with my brush, I always go in with a damp beauty blender then just to kind of like press it under the skin. This one here is by So Sumi. And do you know what? It is actually really soft and it's, you know, I'm impressed with it. It's a really good beauty blender. So yeah. Just keep on down, down your fingers. 
Now for underneath the eyes, um, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Naked Skin, so I'm just making a wee triangular shape. I actually have this in my last video, but it was with the Barry M one, but this is just another wee one that I really use all the time. I like always have it in my cat and I use it most on most clients. So I'm just going to do a wee triangular shape here. I'm going to go down the bridge of the no oh, oh, oh. just there above the lip. We put on the chinny one 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 and some up here. Like there is way more advanced um, techniques on contouring and highlighting, but this is just like basic, but it gets you through, you know, gets you through the day. So once you have applied the amount that you want. Just gonna take that beauty blender. Where is she? She's over here. Same beauty blender, just a different side. So, kind of just waste not, want not. Isn't that the same? And I'm just gonna buffer in the skin. Just be careful around the eye area. Just kind of pull it out this way. So, yeah. Keep on going. You know, like I was watching like loads of YouTubers, like, you know, like, cause I knew I was put my video up. And I was like, how are they like chatting like that long, like without getting all muddled up? Because I mean, the amount of text that I, <laughs> that I had to do to get me through the time, it was like ridiculous. Keith was like, what is going on? And I was getting like all muddled up my words. Like I was like, how long, 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 you know, like, anyway. So anyway. Back to our highlighting situation. Once you have that all blended in, you're going to start your contour. Now, I did do that on the last video, so I don't think I'm going to put it on this video. So if you just go to my very first video, you will see what I use to contour because I'm going to do the exact same thing today. I'm just going to um, use a powder contour. Um, do you know what? It's so handy because, well, I, I do like cream contour. Like, I really like it, but if you're in a rush or anything, you can't be like, cream contouring your whole face and then going over it with powder contour and whatnot. So that's what I'm just going to do. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to come back, back to you guys. Now I have just picked up the color a mood because I'm in a mood. No, I'm not really in a mood, but we're, we're going the color. We're going for the color mood. Yeah. And we're just going to take it right underneath here. I've already applied my liner, so I'm just going to smoke it out now with the color mood. Take a wee small kind of like flat brush. Just bring this all the way over. I tried to do my liner on camera, but I just kept watering it. Just was <laughs> it was not happening for me. So I'm just gonna do the shadows. Okay, so now I'm taking the Peaches and Creams PC Twenty Two brush, and I'm taking the color Envy Mood Envy. What? So I'm just gonna place that right underneath the mood color, and just start to blend and try and like connect this part here. So yeah. This is her nearly done, wow. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my blusher and today I'm using Melba from MAC and I'm just placing that kind of like on the apple of the cheeks and then swooping upwards. But this is what I want to show you. I really love this wee product here. It's the Afterglow Fireball by Urban Decay. So you basically just put a wee bit of this on the apples of the cheek and I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But it just gives that wee bit of a sheen, like a wee pinky kind of sheen. It's really nice. You probably can't see it because um, the lighting's not great on here. But trust me, this product's really, really nice. And I just apply it before um, you do your highlighter. So yeah, it just gives that bit of a glow. Extra glow. We love a little extra glow. So now I'm just going to do my highlighter and I'm going to use the... Da -da -da. Once again, because I'm obsessed with it. Where is my brush? Okay, so I'm going to go for... Let's go for a lifestyle. It's a bit more of a goldy colour. And I did see a video of Mitchell saying that people are afraid to use this. This isn't really that dark. Just kind of like layer it as you go. Um, so yeah, it's more like of a goldy tone. So just taking that right underneath the shadow. Can you start to see that? Can you see that? Case like, so you must be able to see it on the camera. So I'm just going for that nice 
Golden glow. Bling me up. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my second video. Ah, so excited to get it done. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, like and subscribe if you can, please, because it really means so much to me. And leave comments down below. Actually, if you would, leave comments down below as to what you would want to see next, because I'm all about... Goodbye, you guys.